Hey, welcome to Backyard Woodworking. I have another little scroll saw project. Jewelry tree. Looks like a little tree. Even has a little owl in it right here. Good for uh, your wife, girlfriend, whatever. I hang your jewelry on. This is the base. Base will be three quarter inches thick. It'll be uh, three and a quarter by seven. I'll have a couple of dowels sticking up. You can put rings on so they don't slide on the floor and the vacuum cleaner eats them. And the tree will be made out of half inch stock. And it's approximately, uh, the tree is approximately eight by 11. So I don't have an 11 inch, half inch thick board. So I gotta make one. I got a piece of uh, half inch poplar here from the local box store there, the big box guy. I'm gonna uh, cut this up in half. It's squared nice on the side, so it should glue pretty easily. So I'm gonna cut this up real fast. I have my uh, fence set 13 with a one inch block that gives me 12 I should cut it roughly in half it doesn't have to be accurate because all the scraps get cut off anyway so it doesn't matter so let's cut this up and I can pick my grain the way I like it. I'll give you a little pick. And that looks pretty nice grain wise. And that should match with the pattern here. It should pretty much run right down the, the center. If you can see this, I don't know. It, it's with the camera. Oh, by the way, I'm using a new camera. It's a regular camcorder instead of a little camera I was using before. So maybe we get a little better results, it's high definition, give it a shot anyway. So what I'm going to do is glue these two up. The best grain pattern, I don't really need to show that, just put a little glue in the edge, just stick it in the clamps and let her sit. So now the base, I need three uh, and a quarter by seven. Well I don't have, this is uh, a longer piece, so all I need basically is a uh, a seven inch piece, so I'm going to make it like that eight inch piece. I don't have to be particular, I just need a rough guesstimate about eight inches, and I can guess from on my saw here. I'm sure, my blade's up a little higher for this stock. And we're going to cut off a piece for that. Let me move. I'll run this through. So here I got my base. As you can see, and these two pieces, which will be cut, they'll be glued up. And that will make the tree. And then uh, these edges here, after this is cut out, the base here, when I get all cut out, I'm going to run it on a router table and we're going to use the Roman uh, OG cutter, I believe, and I'll use that on this and make a nice uh, edge, decorative edge, all the way around the piece. So now they got everything cut up here to rough size. The next step is glue the patterns on, cut the patterns out, we'll glue them on the pieces here, and then we'll do the scroll saw work, and that'll be done inside. All right, well, we got everything glued up. Patterns on the bottom. Uh, you see that? And the pattern on the tree. As we can see right here, hold it away, maybe you can see better. 
And this is just a full size of printer paper. Now what I did here where my seam was, I cut this panel down. I moved the seam off to the side. So, uh, I don't know if you can see, well here's the seam right here. So the seam would be right there on this on this piece. Let me get it in the front and you can see it. But the seam runs right down here. Now I did that because I was thinking about it and said, well listen, if I run the seam down the bottom here, and I see I can run it through these limbs instead of down the center of, of the trunk of the tree. And by doing that, it hides the seam better because you're not really going to notice because all this is cut out. So, next step, cut out the tree and then uh, sand it up and a little bit of glue. So let's get it cut. Let's start cutting some of this out. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to cut these big pieces away. That gives me a little easier to handle it. cut out. close this is.
And there you go. And you take this. And uh, let me see. Hold it back far enough here. You can see. And there's the tree. With a tight fit there. Take the pattern off. Along with my little owl up here too. Uh, you take the pattern off. I just use the heat gun. It peels right off. A little bit of sand in now. It's too cold out there. I can't do any finishing in the house because that bothers the wife's breathing. She's got asthma, but and I bothers mine too. And the dog, so it has to be done outside. It's just too cold to do any finishing. So I'm just going to sand this up and take the pattern off, which I said just peels off. This should peel off fairly easy anyway. I let the glue dry for a while, and there you go. I mean, you can take. Uh, your rings or whatever. There you go. You can hang up your Allen keys on it. Uh, but there it is. And uh, put pegs here. Just drill. All it is about drill two or three holes. Now, I might just put two in here. One on each side. And uh, there's you, there you got a hole for your uh, what we call it. Your uh, rings. Put pegs. Anything a little small around so it don't roll on the floor. Also, I think I'm going to go out there to, when it warms up, run this, put a, uh, on the router table, just put a Roman OG bit there in the router and just run it all the way around both sides and all the four sides rather and just clean her up. I think it'll look good. All right. All right, out of, after a little bit of work here, there it is. Sand it up. I just put two pegs. Uh, the patterns has a peg in the middle here. I just really didn't think I needed it. Ran it on the router table. Put a little decorative edge on it. And there you go. You got a place to put your rings on here. Hang whatever you want to put on it. Just need some finish. Uh, yeah, I think spray some sort of a spray stain would probably be the easiest way of getting in all these little nooks and crannies and then uh, wiping it off maybe with something small and a small rag or even cotton swabs work pretty good. But there you go. A little out on the tree here. Fairly simple project. Uh, Something I, I, you could make in a day, really, with no problem, uh, taking your time. And uh, anything thin, too, you can cut two at once, glue, to glue two patterns together and cut it. But this is kind of thick. This is half inch. I, I, that's thick enough. I don't like cutting through the, the three quarter on, on this saw here. Gives a little extra problem cutting through. So, But here it is. Well, thanks for watching Backyard Woodworking. Pretty soon spring will be here and we get back out to shop and do some bigger projects I have in mind. Everybody take, have, have a good one. Take care.